believe that must be heartbreaking for you to, to lose the game at the end like that. Um, um, yeah, obviously it's it's heartbreaking because of the way we lost, not not because of the result. I think we we didn't um, we never showed or we never been the team we wanted to be. So uh, it's hard. And when you play against the two World World Cup champions, uh, it's very hard. Very hard. Uh, they were better from minute one to eighty and. That's the that's the real that's the story, you know. Obviously, I want to recognize our players kept kept battling and kept coming back and kept uh, every time there was a break working hard to go back. But at at certain time we were 13 against 15 and it was very hard. Um, so yeah, congratulations to South Africa. Your, your players, you have in the week spoke about consistency, and that's something of the All Blacks game. You guys went back about the second week uh, after last week, this week. Is that how much of a uh, factor is that to get to work on? Well, that's that's the one million um, recipe. You know, if you if you have it, please give it to me um, because it's a uh, it, it happened it happened uh, uh, 2022 in in in, in New Zealand. In Christchurch and then in Hamilton, it happened last time against the All Blacks. It happened today against the Springboks. Um, yeah, we need to to get better and 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 see how we and, and we need to keep uh, um, trying and, and and doing things and 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 just learning or, or more so than learning, uh, dig deep and, and 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 understand what's going on there because. Uh, um, consistency, it's, it's, it comes in very in, in lots of forms, but we were consistent maybe when we played against uh, Australia, maybe the first game, then we played a better game. We were consistent the, the first game against South Africa, but, but yes, it's true that once you, you beat, it happened twice now that beating the All Blacks the following week, uh, we found it very difficult and, and the same this time, um, beating South Africa and then uh, conceding too many points. Just to follow up on that, sorry, also your, your, uh, you had a great disciplinary record this entire rugby championship in the last 12 games. Uh, two cards, one red, must be very disappointing to, to get that. Was that just the pressure that Yeah. Yes, it's disappointing in, in terms, um, because again, we we weren't the team, we, we didn't do what we wanted to do, you know, in terms of um, defending or this. Uh, maybe the red card, we can argue, you know, yeah, it's probably it's a red card, but um, I don't know, uh, maybe a lucky, with the way it's it's played today, you, you, you can have those incidents, to put it one way. Um, but um, yeah, but definitely yellow cards, uh, the two yellow cards um, we could have avoid them easily. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's disappointing, but again, it's 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 part of the learning individually and collectively um, on on how can we be better, especially in 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 moments of of high pressure of of uh, when the the things are not going your way, how you stay calm, poised, and and just believe in what you've been training and how you've been doing and, and in your habits, you know? Uh, question for the skip. Um, what do you feel went differently between this week and last week? What did you guys uh, It's working this. Yeah, first of all, congrats to South Africa on the, <clears throat> on the tournament. Yeah, I think that the difference between one week and the other, we weren't as consistent as, as we want to be. Last time we... we we did our, our game plan, of course, when you play against a, a team that good, uh, it's not easy to to impose yourself for 80 minutes. We didn't do it last week, and this week definitely we didn't do it. Like, they were they were much better than that for 79 minutes. So that that was the main difference. Uh, we spoke about how we start the games. We didn't start it good enough again. So those are the learnings that we need to do. Uh, and the way, the way to learn is, uh, passing through these moments. Uh, now the, the, the thing is, we need to learn fast. We can't be in this position again. So that's, that's a disappointment. 
Uh, but the difference between one week and the other was definitely like uh, the way that that they impose their game over us, and we wanted to do that. We run. I can ask this question to your coach, but every team, I can ask, I would ask you the question, I could have asked it to you um, Every team, when they play a test match, whether it's a competition as well, there are lessons to be learned out of the competition. What, is the, these, what are these lessons you guys taking forward now after this competition? Because for the past week, just in South Africa, we've been talking about, or at least some of our about how the growth Argentina has shown so far, climbing to six weeks on the last What are the lessons you guys taking out of this competition? Um. Sorry, how was the last part of the competition? Um, what are the lessons you guys are taking out of this competition? Yeah, first of all, like making a balance on the whole tournament. Now it's, it's difficult after we, we finished the last game like half an hour ago and we lost by a big, big difference. So what we need to learn definitely is like being consistent week in, week out. I think that, I think no, it was like the first game against New Zealand and the second game. Then we were consistent for three games in a row, even though we, we lost against Australia in the last, in the last, in the last play. Uh, but we know how, how demanding is this tournament. You need to be uh, fresh mentally and physically to train week in, week out and try to improve yourself. So we need to, to prepare better for, for, for these games. And there is a lot of positives as well. People that make it their debuts, people that play more minutes, uh, where, where we have more depth in our, in our squad and we trust everybody in the squad, so that's, that's amazing. But we need to be better in what we see we're going to do and then do what we train. Uh, of course, it's not easy because you play against uh, excellent teams that they try to do the same, but we need to believe in, in our thing because when we do that, we are a dangerous team, but that's, that's the key. Uh, Philippe, we received a report that you approached the refs change room at half time, you were quite upset because you made the Sorry? Point. We heard that you approached the refs change room at half time and you were quite upset. Well, you heard wrong because I don't know where is the changing room. I didn't go to the halftime changing room, so I don't know where you take it from. But it, it's a bad thing to say because I never go to a changing room of a ref at halftime. So I'm disappointed that you asked that question, and I would like to know where you take it from. Yeah. I'm asking where you take it from. I've got a message from somebody in the stadium. Before. I only talked to the referee after the game, and it was in a obviously in a way I, I know Ben O'Keefe very well and we chat and I said we we have I, I sent him the review and he said yes and we are okay in terms of inter interchanging it's just uh, things but it, it's nothing that uh, uh, I'm surprised that you got the bad information you need to be careful because you're a reporter you know you need to check your information because you're that's a lie uh, sorry for me it's a uh, last question we okay. will finish we thank you thank, thank you, you. Well, maybe you're he hearing wrong because I didn't go in the, in the in afterwards. Afterwards. All I wanted to ask is, did you disagree with some of the calls? So why did you have that serious chat with the with the referees afterwards? <clears throat>